All right, hey everybody. My name is Roger King. I am one of the golf pros at currently at Country Hills Golf Course in Hendersonville. If you see this, uh, this intro, uh, you've then found me through the Country Hills website. They'll have a link to this video probably. Um, and you kind of get to know a little bit about me and you know, kind of where I've come from and the evolution of the golf swing uh, and who you would willing to be um, working with, right? I know that you have a lot of options, a lot of golf pros out there, um, and uh, you can do your due diligence. And so this kind of video would give you the idea of uh, who you'd be working with and uh, whatnot. All right, so I'm gonna get into it. And I'm not really sure how long this is gonna go because this is really not just getting to know me, uh, but it's, um, it's, this is also my way of giving back. I've been what I would consider, a, I guess, pretty selfish. Haven't really had much of a social media presence. Um, I was a cruise ship golf pro many years ago, and they videoed me doing one of my talks. And so if uh, you look on YouTube, Roger King, cruise ship golf pro, there's some tips there and stuff. And to be honest, I would say, you know, I got, I got quite a bit right. Um, and then compared to what I, I know uh, now, there are some things that I would like to rectify, which is also uh, part of this video. Uh, this is really my way of giving back um, to this this great game. Um, you know, to to put it in a way you'll as if you get to know me, I don't really mince words. Um, what I'm going to show you is uh, the best way to swing a golf club. Um, I've studied everything anybody's ever done, pretty much, written, videoed, talked about, taken some of the things that they've used, not used, and pieced this all together. Now, it wasn't until I studied kinesiology. No, I don't have a kinesiology degree. I got a kinesiology book, and it pertained to... Uh, human movement. I was a, obviously, I was a, um, a CrossFit affiliate owner. So I studied every modality of fitness, and then that really just kind of came down to human movement. So once I realized that the golf swing was just another form of human movement, I was able to break it down and to figure out what muscle does what, what sequence, what's the most powerful, uh, most repeatable, stuff that you really kind of care about. All right, so that's why I want to give this video demonstration and explain the things and the differences of this. So again, I don't know how long this is going to go. I might do one. I might do a series. We'll just have to kind of uh, just kind of enjoy this journey with me, if you will. All right. So when we get into uh, understanding just the uh, how the body moves, then you got into studying. I studied um, physics through MIT online and kind of put all of it together. Of course, it was Newton's laws, right? Uh, so if I say something as simple as the golf swing is a circle, it's not really a circle because it, 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 it does change because you have also pressure shifts and you have other stuff. But I'm gonna to try to make this as simple as possible, right? To, uh, to give the, uh, to kind of give it away, should I say, and of course I wanna work with you and show you, but a golf swing is nothing more than an underhand throw in motion or a backhand in motion. If you're a tennis player, how the left hand does that, the right hand does that. Um, and, um, and it really is simplistic. I uh, am about 50, 51, almost 52 years old. Um, I can swing anywhere between 120 to 140 miles an hour. Uh, I'm 6'3 I'm and about 215 to 220. Uh, so I work on uh, obviously strength training, mobility and all that. None of that is to impress you, none of that. It's to impress upon you that you can do this and fix yourself with whatever that you're doing to swing the most, the optimal and the fastest that you can possibly do, okay? 
So 80% of power comes from the hands, wrists, and forearms. 20% comes from the rest of the body supporting, okay? So let's kind of get into it, and there's gonna be some people that watch this video, send it to your golf pro. I, I don't care, I, this is not, you can debate it all you want. Um, if, you, if you enjoy the golf pro that you're working with and you're playing great, that's awesome. If you do none of the things that I'm talking about and you shoot par or under, then don't listen to me and don't. This is for the 99.999% of golfers that can't break 100 and have no clue why. Um, and and I want to give back because the frustration that I have. So when I work at, um, at Country Hills and I work behind the counter for my 40 hours and I sell range balls and do tee times and then I give lessons, you know, 20 hours or so um, of the week the rest of the time during the season, okay? And and I, I, I hate giving range balls to people that then I happen to look out and I see and it's like, you know, and they care. Otherwise they wouldn't be there, but they're not getting better. You know, they're trying to see California and they're driving in their car, but they're heading straight east. They ain't never gonna see it. They ain't never gonna get there, okay? So the way that I look at these kinds of things is, I want to try to give you the recipe of understanding why and what the hands do and how the golf swing works. All right, so there's my intro. Hopefully that's not uh, killing you too boring. So let's move on to the next fun kind of stuff that as we go. All right, so we'll get into what the hands do and I'm gonna kind of zone in a little bit as you can see. So all your hands do in a golf swing is they will go up. Now that is wrist motion. Listen, I'm not gonna get into this whole radial flexion, ulnar deviation, palmar flexion. None of that really, you don't have to technically know, okay, that that's that, or this is this and this, right? All right, so we're not gonna get into that. I'm not gonna do that. This little soft wrist bone right here has to be able to cock up and down. And then if this is, so this is your arm, by the way, this is your forearm. So when I say arm, I mean what I say. So the arm doesn't move. Now it rotates inside the shoulder socket, etc. But you'll see how the back of the left hand makes that motion. Okay. Now I'm not moving my body. I am not moving any form of my ankles, my joints, my knees, my pelvis, my hips, my shoulders. All the stuff that they tell you moves the golf club does not move the golf club. Okay. Hands move the golf club. So going to, going to go into detail now, if I can, about this left hand. And this is pretty simplistic, okay? So where you're gonna put the golf club, I'm gonna kind of put it a little closer here. The thing wants to follow me around, okay? I'm just back there. Come here. Yeah, I know I'm over at my place. Come here. All right, cool. Now, look, this left hand has to be able to where this palm, this pad right here, has to be on top. If it is in the palm, then you are restricting also, the bell of the club, and again, we're going to talk about the details of things, okay? The bell of the club is thicker here and thinner as it goes down. Do not grip at the end, okay? If you grip it at the end, you will not have any control, okay? So, I'm going to kind of put it where you can see. So, I'll curl the finger, hand, and there is the left hand grip. Now, how do I know it's correct? Okay? If... I put my left hand way over, you can see it there, okay, that you'll see that my wrist can't really move easily and that my arm is locked and my shoulder's locked, okay? And everybody's been told to keep the left arm straight. This is not true. This joint right here, you're locking this and this. This is not true. The arm is relaxed like it is at your side. Now, my arm looks straight, okay? It is not, it has an angle to it. That is locked straight. This is incorrect. That is where the arm hangs. Now, if you'll notice how my hand automatically hangs in the correct position too, that's how it hangs from your side. That's how our body works, right? That's how that joint works. So if I lock this, you'll see that that locks up this pec, this shoulder, and you're gonna have restriction here, okay? And the wrist can't hinge, right? So purpose of a golf club is the hands to hinge and unhinge. So when you grip the golf club and can do this easily, 
Now, if you'll also notice, this is my arm here, and I'm doing this with speed, faster than most people hit a golf ball, just that little bit right there. That golf club is going over 180 degrees. That golf club is going to move at 180 degrees. I didn't move any of this. Okay? Everybody's like, hey man, you gotta move the hips, move the golf club. Uh, the club didn't move. It's not true. The only way it moves is if you stuck it into your belly button and then if you moved your belly, then the golf club would move and it would only move about a foot. Okay? So that's what moves, the, that's what accelerates the golf club. Okay? You gotta turn your body at the ball. It didn't move. All right? You gotta move your feet. Nope. Move your shoulder joint. Nope. Now you can lock your arm wrist and elbow and move it straight back and you're moving your lat to move that okay and that's about as far as it goes and this is the heralded one piece takeaway that they all teach right so at some point when they do this you now at some point have to cock the club you have to do it with your hand so what most golf pros or people teaching you is that it is a one piece takeaway everything together and then you cock your hands up over the shoulder so if I had a golf ball connected here, or a ball on a tee way up here, and I did this and this and this and this, would that make any sense? Or would you rather just use your hands to click it off, right? Makes sense to me, right? So at some point, you have to move your hands to cock the club up over your shoulder. That's the purpose of the hands. Hands cock up over the shoulder. So if you have a correct grip, it'll come up over your shoulder. Now, the left hand is a backhand motion, like tennis. And you'll see that the club is accelerating, like so. The right hand is a right-handed underhand toss. We're getting into more details about that. But the wrist joint of the right hand does this. That's all it does. It does not roll. Nor do you hit the golf ball and roll your right hand over to hit a golf ball. A right hand does not roll over, ever. The left wrist joint doing this is what makes the club appear to roll over. If you have just in a right-handed motion, this wrist joint hinges and then the arm extends and the club face is, and this thing, Square. It's not perfect. Sorry, I got a phone that got one of those little TikToky phones that rotates. I don't know. I didn't quite think it all the way through. Do the best I could. All right. So let's go this way. So if I go here, see my hand like that. Now watch. Put my left hand on it. My left hand rolls. The golf club rolls. All right. So the left hand makes that motion. The right hand goes under. That's the wrist joint. So the hand. You want it to be in the second joint of all the fingers because that is where you have maximum hand action, okay? So if I put these two little motions together, the correct left hand, again, can do that, okay? So then if I'm too, you see I can't, right? So don't overthink this thing, like where, what joint, what finger does this actually have to go in and all that? If, if you're way over and it's in your fingers, you're not going to have speed and control. If it's in the palm, you don't have any wrist motion. If it's too far left or too far right, it's going to feel heavy. So if you can do this easy, you're like, well, that's correct. Okay, so the same thing on the right hand. So if I put the right hand way over, you guys can see that's not right. Okay. So if I go here and here, now that looks like that's going to speed up, right? Like so. So that's what the, that's what the wrist action does. So when this wrist hinges, you'll notice that that forces the elbow then to flex, bend, and you'll see that that angle of the arm, I'll back up a little bit so you can see. Okay. And then when the arm goes to the target, you'll see that the golf club is released. So it is the same as a underhand toss. Now, so we'll get into a little bit of this, and this is, um, it's not it, but believe it or not, as much as I know, I try to keep this as simple as possible, right? So hopefully the, the thing that you get out of this is the correct grip, 
and no tension in the arms because then that makes the club really move fast. And it's the hands that take the club back and it is not the hands that bring the club through because that would be this, right? It is the arms that takes it to the target. If I was tossing you a ball in my hand, would my hand would go back and my arm would go to the target. If I'm throwing a ball in your hand, my hand goes back and then my arm to the target, not my hand and then my hand to my face, right? So be like, so I'm releasing the golf club from up here immediately, like 100% swinging my arms as fast as humanly possible to the target, right? And you're gonna say, oh, your body moved. Remember I told you the body moves about 20%, it supports, right? So, like so. I get a ball 300 yards in my slippers. Why? Because I'm not doing this. I'm not having to go down and up and jump. Okay? So why would I time a circle? Why would I go down and up and create and do that? What? How am I going to hit the ball dead center in, this, in the circle? Right? So the fastest humanly way is triple force. That's what David Cook Goliath, rock and a stone. Right? He didn't go, let me use the ground forces. Didn't do that. Okay? So stop doing that. It's ridiculous. Right? So from here, when the club swings, you can see it's a circle. See, my body responds. I'm in slick little dress shoes. Right? I'm in good balance. Right? How fast do you think this pitching wedge is going? What? Do you see me going down or up? No. Now, am I using the ground? Is there vertical pressure? Is there horizontal pressure? Is there torque? Yeah, all that. But it's the same motion that it comes from throwing, and it comes from hands and arms to the target. Okay, as far as accuracy, my ball only curves if I want it to. Dead straight all the time. Why? Because when I'm releasing, the club comes here. Ooh, that brings one other little pet peeve that I kind of hate. All right? People have been told to keep the left arm, shoulder, and club and shaft all in one line. This is incorrect. One bazillion percent. When you do this, you now have to come under and you can no longer swing in the circle. But Roger, the club, the hand has to be in front at impact. It is. But it starts here in centrifugal force. Your weight goes left naturally as the arms go to the target. The wrist is in, front of the ball, in, is in front of the club for a split second as it's releasing. If you are like this, you cannot hinge the club back. So every shot, ready for this one? Chip shots, pit shots, the whole thing. The golf club is in the middle, yeah, the middle of your stance. Ball will be one ball in front. If you want to hit it lower by one, you can move it back slightly, but you're now messing around with the circle, right? Bottom of your wheel of your car, there's only one connect point, right? So it, when it rolls around, it hits the ground the same place every time. When you lean the shaft forward like this, you will now have to take the club back with tilted shoulders and trying to turn and all of that. And you're like, well, you gotta hit up on it with a driver. You gotta hit down on it with an iron, right? I want my club going to the target. If I wanna hit up on it, I can widen my stance with a driver if I wanted to. Now, is my golf club still in the middle of my body? Yes. Is more of my mass behind the ball? Yes. Did I still swing in a circle? Yes. Now, how do I know that? Because, if I just stand my body up, would you agree with that? I'm just going to bend my spine over. It's just a tilted circle, okay, in that image. Now, again, when I'm here and my arm then goes to the target, the golf club, if you drew a perfect line on it, will actually come inside a circle this way because you have pressure shift from the pelvis and the knee and the ankle joint all rolling in together supporting the motion of throwing the arm, okay? So, again, I told you it's not a pure, thank God we're not a wheel, okay? But that is the sort of analogy of this, right? 
So when the head stays perfectly still, the seventh cervical of your spine is the swing circle center, right? And so if this moves this way or this way, then so will your circle. So the head will have its own little rotation. Eyes will have its own little rotation. The chin will rotate with the xithoid process. And there is your weight in your right leg that straightens some. It does not stay bent. If you stay bent, then your head has to move. Head stays here. Line the hand up. Leg will straighten naturally to stay on center. Arm to the target. There goes my weight shifting left naturally. Club unwinding. Okay? And I got drills for you guys to do when you come see me for a lesson at Country Hills and things of that nature. People are like, man, you're giving away your stuff. Dude, it's not about me and it's not about you. Right? It could be about, we're only here for a short amount of time. Right? So I could, uh, you know, I could be gone tomorrow. Who knows? Right? And this video might help somebody in Indonesia, in China, in Singapore, in South Carolina, you know, it could be, it'd be on the internet for, well, I guess hell, forever, right? So who knows who uh, this little bit right here could help someone. Uh, and like I said, I will be doing series and I'll be videoing people um, because again, I think that I've been selfish a little bit of probably my time. Um, and you know, you're kind of more fortunate to then be able to come see me if you are in the area of Hendersonville, Gallatin, Madison, Nashville, Hermitage, you know, Knoxville, Memphis, it's worth it to come see me. Um, I'm trying to teach you how to swing this golf club as humanly fast as possible. Uh, and, and if you can't come see me, then great. Then the instruction that I'm gonna give you, I hope helps you uh, so I can get back to the game while I'm long and gone. Um, that. Um, that uh, this helps you out, okay? So, easiest way to try to get this feeling for you is put the club on your shoulder, if you can do that. You put it right out in front of you, you'd see that that is where the club would be. Not one person I've ever seen do this. However, they do that because they've been told to keep the driver up and the head back and the head up on it. You seen that? I've seen that too much, right? So. From here, you can see how I could easily do that in balance where I'm standing on the one leg or the other leg, right? And I'm making a toss in motion. Now, this is the last little bit I'll show you. So if I was throwing a ball underhanded this way, this is as simple as the golf swing can be, is get a ball in your hand and wind up and throw it. And you wind up and throw it. Then put a golf club in your hand, wind up and throw it. And that's really as simple as it gets. If I, was standing next to you and said, hey, throw me the ball and put my hand up like this, you'd hit my hand every time, All right? Well, I can do the same thing with the golf club and a ball on the ground. The only difference of it is, is the tool changes. It's the same motion of me tossing a ball to your hand. It's just I'm using this to do it. So anyway, I'm sure there's gonna be a lot of people who are gonna be like, what in the world did I just watch? Hope I didn't waste your time. Um, come see me at Country Hills if you, if you want a golf lesson. Um, it is the winter time uh, now. I'm, that's why I'm doing this little bit in the uh, condo. Besides that, I just thought that this is kind of where, this is like my little home. This is where I do my training um, and hang out and stuff like that. So this was comfortable for me to do this video. Um, I wrestled with the decision of doing this video because, uh, you know, I know that this will, um, in you know, not just increase more people coming to see me but it it's going to be more of an online presence i'm going to try to do a little bit more of an online presence share this with all your people on uh on on facebook uh whatever it is twitter x um instagram i'm gonna i'm gonna upload this from uh youtube to facebook and i'm sure they'll put this on um, um the country hills website uh the uh, the head pro uh, Brad Shirley has been great uh, to me. He's uh, he's helped. Uh, we talked about this as well, and uh, he's all for me uh, doing this to try to give back to the game. Um, and he's been instrumental in all this as well. So um, 
thanks for all of my uh, clients that I've helped. I've helped uh, quite a few over the years. And uh, I look forward to meeting you and helping you uh, with your game. And I uh, look forward to future updates on, um, on this to help you uh, play better golf. All right. Thanks, guys.